All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about how to solve a quadratic equation really easily using the uh, using a graphing calculator. In this case, we're going to use a TI-83. But in a lot of cases, if you have a quadratic equation that where the roots really aren't that easily apparent, and if you have, so for example, if you had like a 2x squared instead of just regular a regular x squared, uh, it's a lot faster doing it this way than using the quadratic uh, formula to solve this. So, for this case, we have just a simple quadratic uh, equation here. We have x squared plus x minus 3. And what so what we're going to do is we're obviously going to plug this in and graph this. So we're going to graph this. And uh, so this is the graph of that equation. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hit, we're going to have to go to uh, calculate. So we're going to hit second trace which is going to bring up the calculate menu here we want to calculate zeros because obviously if you think about the graph of a quadratic equation uh, its two solutions are at where the graph crosses the or where the function crosses the x-axis aka when y is equal to zero um, most cases they're going to have uh, two solutions uh, there will be some cases where it doesn't cross at all and therefore there's no real answer and so the roots are imaginary I'm not actually going to um, uh, you can't actually solve it that the, that way if the roots are imaginary. So we're going to assume that um, you know that the roots are real, and so we're going to go to something called zero, right? So we want to calculate the zero. So let's take the left hand root here, which is obviously negative. So the calculator is going to ask for the left bound. Now, if the if you're at the point of the function where it's decreasing as you go towards the right, the left hand bound is going to be where the closest point where uh, y is positive. In this case, it's going to be right here, right? So we're going to hit enter. Now it's going to ask us for the right bound, right? So we want the uh, the right hand side of the function, or at least the closest point to where the x crosses, uh, where the function crosses the x-axis. And so in this case, the y obviously has to be negative because it has to be underneath the x-axis. Uh, if the function is decreasing, and we'll, you know, we'll obviously calculate it for the uh, the other root as well. So we're going to hit enter, and it's going to ask us for a guess. Now, obviously, either the left-hand bound or the right-hand bound will be pretty good guesses, all things considered. So either one is fine, so we're just going to hit enter again. And it calculates that the root for this particular, uh, or the negative root for this quadratic equation, is negative 2.3. Now, um, so let's do this for the right-hand uh, let's do this for the uh, the other the other roots. So we're going to go to calculate again, calculate the zero. I'm going to go all the way over to the to the uh, the other root. Now it's going to ask us for the left bound. Now if the function is increasing as we go towards the right, and obviously the right hand side of this is the left hand bound is going to be the closest point where the y where the y value is negative. In this case, I believe it is this point here. So this is the left bound. So then we're going to go, it's going to ask us for the right bound, and obviously uh, if the function is increasing as we go towards the right, the right-hand bound is going to be the uh, the smallest point in the function where the y is positive. So we're going to hit enter again, ask us for a guess. Yeah, that's a pretty good guess. And it calculates the zero is, um, that when y is zero, x is 1.3. So if... Um, you can actually double check this, and I've done this a lot, and it actually is pretty accurate, all things considered, um, if you follow this method. Obviously, you don't necessarily, uh, for the left-hand bound, uh, you know, left-hand bound and the right-hand bound, and the guess, obviously, um, if you choose different points than I did, you'll get a different answer. And so, if you sort of play around, it's going to screw up the... Uh, the accuracy of this. But this is a really easy way uh, to use your graphing calculator if you forget the quadratic equation uh, in order to solve for the two roots um, and get a solution. So hopefully this helped and we will see you all in the next video.